Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Again, viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Hollow Knight. I'm here in the resting grounds about to do the side quest, the flower delivery side quest again. And in case you can't see it, I've put a warp spot right here so that if the worst happens, I can just teleport straight back. <sighs> All right, let's do it again. Yes, I failed. Uh, why? Give me another flower. Let's just get this over with. La mer <sighs> All right. I'm still annoyed. God, I made it to the fog canyon. Things just went wrong. But anyway, the watchword is avoid what I can, blast from a distance, everything else. Alright, so let's pause for a bit, let the soul power refill a little further. Because one of those Big dead bugs is coming up. Okay. So if I am patient, whenever I hit him, he turns back around. So I can just wait, like so. Take it fairly slowly. And my soul power will gradually refill as I do. So this way, I should be able to take him down before I run out. Activate the crystal heart here. This should have me in exactly the correct height. Yeah, perfect. And then as I recall, there is a bench in the very next area, so I can just refill my soul power easily. <laughs> Even though I have to endure that spooky business. Okay. Good. Now there's one of those big venge flies up ahead. And for some reason, sometimes these guys take two blasts, sometimes they take one. I think the closer they are to the edge of the visible screen, the more likely it is that a single blast will count twice for some reason. I really haven't figured out how that works, though. Now I need to go up. Oh dear. There we go. So as I was saying, now I need to go up. Now this room, there are a few more of those big bench flies. Okay, there's one right ahead and there's one down. And if I have a bit of luck, I can use this guy to blow up the other one. Ah, he was just a bit too far away. Well, that's no good. He 
will get in my way if I leave him. All right. The one up there, he is no concern. I reduce them to one hit, then taking them out with a nail is doable. But there's another bin fly up here, and it's kind of annoying because I can get caught between these worms and hit or even blown up by it. Why did that not do that? There we go. Money flies at you, you know he's taken care of. All right. Now then, in this next room, I have to be careful and get to this platform. Now there's three stalactites on the ceiling here, so I just have to go for it. And now, there should be another one of those big bench flies up ahead. Just lure him into the worm. No stalactites here, fortunately. Just the worms. Oh man, wasted last. Oh, whew. All right, so I'm about a third of the way there, and now this place is really dangerous. which direction is best to go. One little slip. And I'm in trouble. Now, I need to go fairly far down. At least none of the monsters here are aggressive. One little advantage. They don't fly at me and try to chase me down. Okay, so that's where I need to go right there. Okay. And now, I do need to be careful because they come down pretty far right at the edge of the water. And now there are exploding eggs on the bottom, on, on the ground here. There's one at the edge of the screen right there. down in fact. Oh. That was stupid. If I'd hit that guy with the nail, I would have been toast.
get over here. So wait when this guy is pretty much at his lowest point, and then there. Okay. Oh man, this is stressful. At least this room is mostly trivial. The very end is tougher, though. Okay, okay, okay. I'm almost through to the Queen's Garden. You get out of my way, please. Okay, now this next part is dangerous. They're spiky guys. Those guys that throw their spines. And I know there's one up... There he is. that destroy him? I think it did. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, I need to go up here. Almost there. Oh, goodness. Almost there. Almost there. Here sleeps the traitor's child. I did it. I did it. Oh, finally. Okay, the flower is gone from my inventory. <sighs> oh, the tension is leaving my shoulders. <laughs> Boy, this was a pain in the backside. done. Let's see if the mourner has anything to say about it. Right, 
Now what? Uh, Me? Lemur, you have done this thing? Is it possible? This world's cruelty, I thought it overwhelming. But Lemur, such great compassion that Shay's love would know her partner's heart even eon past. Is it that, Lemur, such grief can end? Shay can end. Oh, and I, dear love, Shay too can end. Look at that. I've been wondering where this thing was. The final mask shard. Yes. This is a big nail. Nothing else here. Alright. Whew. Well. Hmm. There are really two things left. Well, no, three things left. There are really three things left. I got to do the boss fight with the Grim Troop. I've got to get enough essence to reach 2400. And I've got to finish the final trial in the Colosseum of Fools. for that. As I want to do in situations like this, I did some reading online. And apparently, there is a dream version of the Dung Defender. So if I go back down to the Royal Waterways... should be able to check that out. took out all three of them. That was definitely worth the cost. Although, I know there's a fourth thing I need to do. I need to go back down to the birthplace in the ancient basin. There is something to be done down there. Okay, let's... Oh, for the love of... Okay, let's just get this done quickly. Don't really need that anymore. Okay. That should do. Yeah, I'm really... 
Okay, for a moment there, I thought that this was the one in Deep Nest, near the lair of Hera the Beast. Because of those spindles of thread in the background. Okay. I can still go in. But no way. No way. I am never doing that again on this playthrough. Someday in the future when I come back to this game to just play it because I feel like it. Which I guess is what I'm doing now, isn't it? Well, anyway. <laughs> on the next playthrough when I do eventually come back to this game, I'll do that part again. But not now. I am done with it. So, I don't need to be as careful as I was with the flower. the opening. Where was the opening that went down? Okay, what the... Do I have to have that charm equipped? I do, don't I? Oh, for the... Great. Back up to the bench. Oh well. At least there's a bench not too far away up here. Okay. 
Okay, so I need three notches to get this equipped. You know what? I don't need lots of money anymore. And I get soul refilled automatically, so there we go. So now I got higher attack power, so I can just mow my way through those enemies. a little bit. Come on! That one wasn't fair. Okay, there's the open. Alright, so I forgot about trying this last time I was here. Well, that's not good. No cost too great. That's what the king said when I beat him up and took the other half of the charm. I think if I just got started, if this is supposed to be a memory of my birth, then how come I have all my powers? The double jump. 
into everything. No mind to think. No will to break. to cry suffering. Born of God and void. shall seal the blinding light that plagues their dreams. You are the vessel. You are the hollow night. Collected the void heart. Okay, so that charm has changed, it would appear. An emptiness that was hidden within, now unconstrained, unifies the void under the bearer's will. This charm is part of its bearer and cannot be unequipped. Cool. Okay, so I have this equipped, for whatever good that does, and have five extra notches that I can use. And now all these guys are back, irritatingly. Not attacking me. In fact, they're going back to rest. Hmm. Okay, that's one thing that this new charm apparently does. this changes down here, I wonder? Huh. Those tentacles that were in this water before are not appearing now. Okay. 
right. Oh, boy. That... Did I actually land on those? It looked like for at least a split second I was standing on the spikes. Well, I'm not going to test that to find out. At least not on purpose. Corrected. Hmm. It would appear I no longer automatically get soul power back. That's another change from the charm. I think I'm done down here. Let's just get through here quickly, shall we? I do not need the Gathering Swarm anymore, because I don't think there's anything left to buy. You know what? I'm putting it on anyway. I like that. So I always know where I am. I automatically collect Geo because I'm I don't know if I'm actually OCD but I hate leaving stuff lying around I get more soul power refilled when I strike enemies I have more life power stronger attacks and I don't get knocked back when I attack so yeah I think I can live with that now you shut up thank you voila I'm gonna go back to the Royal Waterway. I think King Station is the way to do that. so good. The fool fell in the water. Okay, 
so now here I am in the Royal Waterway entrance. Single hit on those guys now. Used to take like three hits. Wow! Ah! Apparently, I've never been up here. Yeah, never been up here before. Hi. Hello, Red. Don't take something if it isn't yours. That's the law. Everything you see, it belongs to me. Don't be angry. I'll share my food with you if you give me Geo. Purchase food. Yeah, this geo is mine now. Don't try to take it back. Here, take your food with you when you leave. You eat these things? I'll find you again. The water will bring you to me. I just need to keep searching and praying. When we meet again, I want you to say that you're sorry. That's interesting. Huh. A hidden area that I had never found before. The guy who sells rancid eggs for some reason. I think I need those. But, hey, whatever. It's something to spend my money on. Boy, a single hit on these guys, too. I am astonishingly more powerful than I was before. Oh, that guy again. Blah. Shut up. Okay. Oh, I want to get over to the room the Dung Defender was in. I'm remembering wrong. Okay. So there were others. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe I'm not remembering correctly what I read. Could be either. Hmm. 
Okay, I do know where there's another Dream Warrior for sure. He's pretty tough, but then all of them are. Back to Dirt Mouth. Precept 51, nothing is harmless. Given the chance, everything in this world will hurt you. Friends, foes, monsters, uneven paths, be suspicious of them all. Precept 52, beware the jealousy of fathers. Fathers believe that because they created us, we must serve them and never exceed their capabilities. If you wish to forge your own path, you must vanquish your father or simply abandon him. Yeah, this guy is a real jerk. Precept 53, do not steal the desires of others. Every creature keeps their desires locked up inside of themselves. If you catch a glimpse of another's desires, resist the urge to claim them as your own. It will not lead you to happiness. That one's iffy. Precept 54, if you lock something away, keep the key. Nothing should be locked away forever, so hold on to your keys. You will eventually return and unlock everything you hid away. Unless you're a squirrel. Precept 55, bow to no one. There are those in this world who would impose their will on others. They claim ownership over your food, your land, your body, and even your thoughts. They have done nothing to earn these things. Never bow to them and make sure to disobey their commands. Precept 56, do not dream. Dreams are dangerous things. Strange ideas, not your own, can worm their way into your mind. But if you resist those ideas, sickness will rack your body. Best not to dream at all, like me. That must be why there are bags under your eyes, you never sleep. Precept 57, obey all precepts. Most importantly, you must commit all these precepts to memory and obey them all unfailingly, including this one. Mm. Have you truly listened to everything I've said? Let's start again and repeat 57 precepts as though. Yeah, I figured that's what would happen. It would start looping around. Okay, let's try this one again. Quite remember how this guy fights. Ah! 
So, sit down. And? I can hear the ghost, but I can't see it. That's interesting. Alright, one more try. in this episode at least. Okay. Viewers, we're getting fairly close to the one hour mark, so I am just going to end the video. Let's see, what else can I do here? Badges actually look pretty good as they are. Well, anyway. Viewers, thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Hollow Knight. I feel like I've accomplished a fair amount, even though I really only got two things done. But hey, at least one of those things was that annoying Deliver the Flower side quest. And I got the final mask shard, and that's taken care of. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.